Guys, it's Selena, and I am back here with Zach Zang and the whole gang. In a gesture to in the film is that social media has really been terrible for my generation. I understand that it's amazing to use your platform, but it does scare me when you see. The 2009 childhood sweethearts had one of the messiest breakups, and yet Jelena has still captured the hearts of fans, despite the already three-year sunk ship. But what if the little romantic history brewed something unexpected? Well, you're about to find out. Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and Haley Baldwin are undoubtedly one of the hottest topics there is, and it all began in 2009 with the highly publicized relationship of the two singers. Ever since 15-year-old Justin Bieber admitted having a crush on Selena in a 2009 interview, people just couldn't let the little confession slide. And of course, Justin eventually caught Gomez's eye and, well, things started to escalate as fast as they started. The very next year, they were seen at IHOP eating pancakes, and the pop stars shared a good laugh and maybe some hand-holding? While the two denied the media speculations at the time, they eventually made their relationship publicly official when the teen idols appeared in the red carpet holding hands. The Jelena ship has been an on-and-off relationship for almost a decade, but despite the relationship being three years officially dead, fans are still waiting for their comeback. Selena Gomez, being a famous advocate for mental health, once again spoke on the matter and went on an interview with multimedia star Zach Singh. She also talked about her recent encounter with happiness in her life. And the most awaited topic of all, she talked about the meaning behind her hit song, Look At Her Now. Despite Gomez wanting to distance herself from the still ongoing Jelena drama, Justin apparently still hasn't fully let the pop star go. According to a close source, the baby singer has still been trying to contact her ex-lover to talk about his declining mental health. And what's more controversial than that, he was complaining about his wife. Justin has apparently told the Lose You To Love Me singer that she looked amazing when she promoted her latest movie, The Dead Don't Die. This might seem good news for Jelena Shippers, but not for Hailey Bieber, the supermodel and wife of Justin who has been getting so much hate on the internet just by being Justin's wife. The bullying got so ugly that it forced the usually silent couple to speak out on the matter. A selenator tried to orchestrate a whole campaign dedicated to shame and compare Haley to Selena. Justin got so fed up with the girl in the video and the rest of their haters that he posted the fans' video on his story, with the girl announcing that, this is the time where they will not be turning off comments, so we need to effing bombard that S with Jelena and how Selena is better. Go after her, please. Let's all go after her. Justin replied to the video on his Instagram story, writing, This sad excuse of a human just encouraged people on video to literally go after my wife, telling people to say that my previous relationship was better, so on and so forth. I just wanted to share this so that people get an idea of what we face on a day-to-day. -day. It is extremely hard to choose the high road when I see people like this try and rally to gather people to bully the person. I love the most in the world. After watching that I could easily let it steal my joy, but then I think about her life and how miserable she must be to want to spend her life trying to make others feel small. The lesson here, she's the one missing out. Life is fulfilling when you uplift and add value to people. A life where you want to make others feel small will leave you with no friends and no real joy. While Justin was unsurprisingly mad, Haley took things relatively calmly and addressed the hate speech on her own Instagram story, saying, I usually stay quiet and don't acknowledge these things because I need to protect myself and mental, but it has truly gotten to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad. I would never in a million years wish for someone to be treated this way, and I will never condone this kind of hateful behavior. I want only to support, uplift, and encourage other women in this industry and wish them nothing but love and success. The model didn't seem to be so affected on her Instagram post, but when she deleted her Twitter account, we all knew exactly why, and even fans couldn't blame them when one fan tweeting, Haley deleted her Twitter account and app forever for all the hate and toxicity that people were throwing to her every day and all day for no reason, and y'all keep doing that S when she really didn't do anything bad, bro, I'm tired. Fans might be seeing less of Haley on Twitter, but she definitely made some effort for fans and upped her game on her YouTube account. In one of her videos, she even explained why she deleted her Twitter account, saying, I'm 24 now, but I think about how I was younger, especially when I was a younger teenager. How it would have affected me to being a part of the way social media is today and what that does maybe for brain development and what it can do to someone's anxiety. Selena isn't the only lady in the love triangle who was an advocate for mental health because in that same video, she and Dr. Clemens had a meaningful conversation about mental health. And when asked about her mental health, she says, Everybody has things that are going bad in their life, 
no matter who you are or what is going on. There are always going to be things that bother you or that you struggle with that are never going to go away. And instead of focusing on those things, I try to flip the thought and focus on other stuff. Like, I know I'm in a good spot in my life, my family love. You've just got to flip the thought. And speaking of the other lady in the love triangle, Selena has also revealed the real inspiration on what caused her to write another hit song, Lose You to Love, which fans speculated was about her ex-lover, you guessed it, Justin Bieber. She says in the interview with Zach Singh that it's actually just kind of summing up one part of me and then the rest of it is just, it's just me having a really good time talking about real things and vulnerability and strength and, you know, a song that I basically said I can't let myself let me down. So is that a yes, Selena? What do you think? If you said no, then some fans beg to differ. One fan tweeted, Back to lose you to love me. Selena represents Justin as fake person who plays on the other people's feelings. Person who can't make any commitment or any promise. He has disappointed her and broke her spirit, not just only her heart. Haley has continued to speak out against all the bullying directed to her and even started limiting her comments on Instagram to avoid any more negative comments for Jelena shippers and selenators. However, it seems like fans couldn't stop pitting the two ladies against each other and continue to tweet that the beautiful model still couldn't compare to the love Justin and Selena once shared. Fans continue to hope that the former teen couple will rekindle their romance with a fan tweeting, what if Haley and Justin get divorced in future and Justin and Selena starts dating in future again? It seems that their tactic to make their dreams come true is to bully Haley out of the Bieber marriage. In the 2021 Met Gala, the Bieber couple looked absolutely stunning in their black outfits and unintentionally refuted pregnancy rumors before they even had the chance to start. While they had their photos taken at the red carpet, Justin held Haley's stomach to pose for the camera until she moved it to the side and murmured, they're gonna think I'm pregnant. The fans once again tries to prove that Jelena isn't dead when they chanted Selena's name when Haley and Justin Bieber graced the red carpet with their presence and the fact that Selena was a no-show in the Met Gala only caused some fandom drama once more. Fans are speculating that the only reason Selena was not in attendance was because she knew the Bieber couple would be there, and that's not the only drama the red carpet caused. Justin was also shaded for singing the love song she originally dedicated for Selena in front of his wife. Fans couldn't help but tweet, saying, Is Justin Bieber performing this song that he wrote about Selena Gomez? I just know Haley is somewhere screaming, crying, and throwing up because that's what I would be doing. I love Haley Bieber, but honestly Justin is still in love with Selena. He is literally singing about her in most of his songs, and it couldn't be more obvious. Now that we've given you the facts, it's time to hear what you guys think. Could Justin really be done with the Jelena forever? Or is there still a slim strand of hope to hold on to? Let us know down below. Seeing as you've made it this far, we know we've piqued your interest. So make sure to stay connected and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.